sound like I'm ready. You just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find it laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit? Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you in or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be at your place in a minute. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. What's with the fancy wheels? Eddie gave it to us just for this job. Nice, huh? You drive. My head's still pounding from last night. We're going to Greenfield. Guess you hit the sauce pretty hard, too, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Nothing a bottle of scotch couldn't fix, though. Head over to Greenfield. Ricky Fox show on ECNR. More tunes coming up at the Pow Wow right. Wow in your speaker. But so now can you tell me what this is all about? Uh, We're just going to drive there, pop some guy and drive away. Should be a piece of cake. Why? Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished business. He gave me this envelope with all the instructions. He said it's got to be clean and it's got to be done today. Why the hell doesn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while, and he just found him. They're afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's gonna disappear. Yeah, here's a picture. What'd this guy do? Says here he ratted his family out to the feds. Guy's gotta come to him. But wait, if he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? Well, if he still is. He's been here for years. We're getting paid a few grand for the job. So it's more than worth the risk. Man, if you say so. Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So, after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other work. All right. Says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it is. Okay, got it. Hey, if you see Eddie later, not a word about yesterday. He was never there. Last chink we saw was delivering egg food young. You get it? Yeah, who do you think I am? Some kind of retard? Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just making sure you don't slip up, that's all. Gotta say? Yeah. All right. Here we go then. Mr. Angelo. Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards.
Like I said, is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Those guys over there. Shit, go, go. Let's get the fuck out of here. We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. This is Agent Cox. We need three for one Greenfield. Now, goddammit. Those were feds. That asshole really was under protection. Yeah, he's famous for conveniently leaving out little details like that. Maybe he didn't know. No matter now, we gotta lose him. So here's your share. Copy that. 
All right. Good luck getting your hair for the money. Come by my place when you're done. Okay. I'll see you later. Hey, thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? <clears throat> Frank's organizing a sit-down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that dead bitch you fired. Hey. Shit. Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this deadbeat didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset, and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them, and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. So you win? All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. These f 
fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. You know how many of them there is? Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how stunard you are. So, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here. And I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you. Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck. And if anything ever happens to us, he'll screw us over Lower just like your he voice did, John. now, young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking dead. Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you. Broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get you broke. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. We don't want no trouble. It don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Skeletus boy, ain't ya? Ah, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? They're just trying to get under your skin, Derek. Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at me. Why don't you ask him how your dad drowned Shut up. that night? We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened with my father, Derek? Are you nuts or what? Who are you gonna trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all the things. you all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him? Because he wouldn't stay underwater. Keep your mouth shut! Vito, you swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. <sighs> Should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more to disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow this me, is guys. Crazy fellas, you shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Some extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. You're gonna end up just like your old man. I never trusted you.
Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right. Follow this me, is guys. Crazy fellas. We shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> so extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, guys. This is crazy, fellas. You shouldn't be doing this. So you can handle back. yourself. Let's go, Vito. We got your back.
Torpedo, you're making the biggest mistake. You miss your old man, Vito. Gonna die here, Vito! Just like your father! You know what's gonna happen to you when people find out about this? <clears throat> following in his footsteps. It was good to finally know the truth, though. Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. Whoa. Looks like I just found Derek's retirement funds. Cops. Yeah, they might be a problem, but anyone who saw us swear we did it in self-defense. You were never here. All right. Good luck, then. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. God help y'all. 